This is a game that I've made after about a month of trying to learn game development. As you may notice, I'm still far from being a professional. Warning, there may be bugs ahead. For a long period of time now, I have wanted to learn how to program. A problem is that I've never actually tried to learn it seriously, so I've never truly picked it up. Or I must have forgotten where I put it. I should be here somewhere. The last time I tried to learn programming was about half a year ago. Then I tried to learn Python. I tried to learn it for maybe three weeks at most before I gave up. Another attempt at programming was many years ago when I used Scratch, a free program on the web with a node-based workflow, where I spent my time playing other people's games and then copying the whole program in a very professional way just to change the name and variables and then call it a day. Eventually I attempted more advanced stuff as well, but Scratch clearly isn't meant for that, so I ended up taking a break from my game dev career for years to come. Now 2021, I for some reason thought it would be a good idea to pick up this career path once more, this time for real. So, I needed somewhere to start. The main reason as to why I haven't learned programming before is because I've always been scared away by all of those numbers, letters, faces, syntax and everything, as well as the part where you have to write seemingly lots of code to just make anything at all. But there is this thing called game engines, and there is one in particular that I've been looking into several times before, called Unity. You still usually need to program, but the game engine takes care of a lot of the more tedious things such as rendering graphics and giving you tons of tools at your disposal, that way you don't have to do everything from scratch every time. The programming that you do is done in C-sharp in which I've got no experience in. But recently I've noticed that I like challenging myself whenever I try to learn stuff because it makes me more focused and engaged and knowing that I have an end goal, even if I don't compete against anyone or anything. So I thought it would be fun and it could help me learn if I set up a challenge for myself. The challenge was, try to learn as much programming and game development to Unity in just 30 days. So, let the challenge commence! The first three days I took my first couple of steps towards my new career by following Brackies, a great Unity tutor, wow. how to make a video game Unity tutorial series, which had 11 episodes in total. When I was done with that, I felt like I was ready to make my first AAA game. So on the fourth day, I started up a new 2D project and ended up making a walking system. It didn't have a ground check yet, so it was pretty much just a reinvention of Blackbirds. I finally figured out how to make a basic ground check script to only let the player jump while being on the ground after hitting more problems than I'd like to admit. I learned how to make my own 2D tile maps. My original plan was to make a 3D tile map, but it seemed like you were not able to do that without an add-on. So instead, Glad I jumped into GIMP and drew my very first tile set, which actually Sweet turned out better Jesus. than expected. Then I made a basic coin collecting system. I also added some lighting to my scene by trying to learn this thing called lightweight render pipeline with a new 2D renderer. The problem was that I had both 2D and 3D objects in my scene, and the 2D renderer doesn't know how to render 3D objects, just like a 3D renderer would be able to handle 4D objects or what? I ended up having to add several cameras that rendered different passes of the scene. First the base camera, which rendered 3D objects and their lighting, and then an overlay with a 2D renderer and 2D sprites. I also tried to make the player aim towards the cursor, but I had some problems with it. I fixed the aiming, so now the player aims towards the cursor. Now I had to try to fix the gun in my original 2D game, as I had conducted those trials in another Unity project. I also tried to learn Unity's particles. Shut. Unity. Shut. Unity. Shut. Shut. And that is particle system. Today I didn't have time to do anything in Unity, as I instead spent that time making a pistol for my 2D game, for which the modeling was done using Blender. You can do lots of things in this program, which mixes That's lots it. of useful things it into one. Boy. That's the name, probably. I ended up modeling a Sig Sauer P320 Compact. When the modeling was complete, I made the textures and then imported it into Unity. I started my day off by trying to fix some bugs and stuff, but then decided it would be more fun to start yet another AAA game. This time around, it would be three-dimensional. I ended up making the movement system, as well as some other things. I tried to learn how to use the High Definition Render Pipeline, HDRP for short, which is different to LWRP, HDRP being a more realistic and demanding render pipeline, as well as some other things. But I didn't get the HDRP working and I couldn't find any resources online telling me how to solve it. I decided to make a completely new project 
file of the 3D game, but this time I created it with a pre-made HDRP preset. Turns out the problem was that I had to change the lighting type to mixed type lighting for some reason, which uses both baked and real-time lighting. Then I spent the rest of my day trying to make a muscle patch for the pistol using the visual effects craft. Did some general fixes and work, as well as spending even more time in Blender modeling this battle cry that I ended up naming Enforcer. to learn how to make ragdolls because after all who doesn't like this that's a lot of damage how about a little more this this or this or maybe this one i sure do so I imported the enforcer into Unity as well as making it into a ragdoll, which was easier than done, seeing as the meshes always had a really weird transform when you imported them from Blender is, into Unity, and I had to go back trying to fix things I'm days after it. my initial oh. import attempts before I actually got it working the way I wanted. And the weird thing is that when I finally got it working, it actually made less sense with all the workarounds I had done before I wanted to work even just semi well. My whole project is now temporarily broken because I'm remaking a lot of things like the whole gun system. Okay now the, the gun works at least, but I still have to fix the ammo counter, enemies, That's as well as okay. some other things Thanks before I can move on. I added and fixed a couple of things. Now externally the game works exactly like before, but a lot better internally. I really wanted to learn some AI, because I believe it's a very interesting subject in which I've got almost zero experience in. So I began okay, by learning Unity's NavMesh AI this agents. Way. This room is cool. Nah, I think this way is better. Or, um, still not. This way will surely be go up. Found the exit. Oops. F R E E E B O O O M. I also got quite stuck doing research on AI in general because I thought it was so interesting. I'm definitely looking forward to working more with AI in the future. The AI is now working and ready to conquer the world. I mean, just look at that eye. It'll be the last thing you'll see before it says, Hello world. Eh, yeah. it'll shoot you with these glowy ball blasters I keep. Lucky for you, the player's invincible as of now no and can't idea. receive any damage. <laughs> Who's laughing now, AI lords? I had technical problems, I was unable to do anything. Because of the technical problems, I'm temporarily unable to continue with the game I was working on. So I started up a new experimental project, which I'll be working on these last couple of days. Or so I thought. First I tried to learn how to make script-generated meshes that I later wanted to make procedural. This was also the hardest thing I attempted to make during this whole challenge. I started a new project. Surprised? This time around, something that had an actual game idea behind it. A survival game played out on a tiny alien planet. First I tried to make the Fox Gravity, which is apparently the name of spherical gravity, which is used for the tiny planet. Technically, I feel like Fox Gravity is actually normal gravity, but anyway. I did several attempts at it, but it still didn't want to work the way I wanted it to. At the start of the day, I fixed the Fox Gravity. And when that was done, I started working on an interaction system with items and an inventory. I ended up spending my last couple of days on this, but I never had time to be able to make it into a fully fledged inventory system. Day 31, it's over man, it's over. So now that my 30 day game developing journey is over, I was left questioning, how much have I actually learned? Honestly, it wasn't very straightforward. It's not like there was a progress bar showing how much I had done. It was hard to tell since I had been working on so many projects and not just one. I wanted to know how much I had actually learned. I wanted something visual, something that you could directly compare. So in the next episode, I'll put my newly learned skills in trial to see how much I actually learned this month. Stay tuned for that subscribe.